Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Men said stay the heck away from Christmas, Thanksgiving, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Memorial Day, Fourth of July. That's right. Okay? This is what this man promotes. But when you go over your family member's house to participate, right. you don't put you put the death just like them if they if Christ get caught catching for doing those things. Right. And I'm approved. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Let's see if Christmas is of God. Read. Hear the word which the Lord, Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the way of the other nations. Christmas was given to you by another nation in slavery. That's Read. Right. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Don't be dismayed at the stars and the moon. Some of our people worship that thing. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Those things were made for the heathen to worship, not you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Read. For the customs of the people are vain. Are what? Are vain. Meaning they're empty. Read. For one cut up a tree out of the forest. Now we about to go into one custom in particular that is vain, that has no weight to it, that holds no water to it. Read. For one cut up a tree out of the forest. What do you do at Christmas time? We go to the man that cut the trees out of the forest, right? Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Right. They deck it with silver and with gold. Then you take that tree and you decorate it. You decorate that tree with silver and gold. This is a custom God say stay away from. Read. They fasten it with nails. They what? They fasten it with nails. They fasten it with nails. Today we have tree stands. Read. And with hammers. And with what? And with hammers that it move not. So read the top again. Uh, stay away from the customs of the heat. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut up a tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. So understand, sis. Stop participating in pagan holidays. God said, do not do the ways of the heathen. Read that again. Learn not the way of the heathen. Christmas is a heathenish custom. You ain't supposed to be keeping Christmas. That's Christmas, right. uh, Christmas was not Jesus Christ's birthday. The book, the book of St. Luke, chapter 2, verse 41. Read. Now his parents went to Jerusalem. Now Every this is Christ, his parents, Mary and Joseph. Went to Jerusalem, right? Read. Every year. Every when? Every year. For what? At the feast of the Passover. No, Christmas. At the feast of the Passover. You're supposed to be celebrating Passover, not That's Christmas. Right. That's Mother's right. Day. Thanksgiving. You're supposed to keep the Feast of Tabernacles. The Feast of uh, Dedication. Today is the Day of Atonement. You're supposed to be fasting right now. Right. But your pastors are, are, are willingly teaching you the wrong way on purpose. Read. That's and we ain't supposed to be celebrating that. Read. And when he was 12 years old. When he was when? 12 years old. Now, the Passover is around the month of March and April. So, it said when he was 12, when he turned 12 years old, right? 
So Christ was born in the time of Passover, around March, April. Understand, we ain't supposed to be celebrating our birthday. You were born into captivity. You were born to serve this wicked nation. Why would you celebrate that day? Okay? God said, you plus when people bring you presents and they give you high praise, they're treating you as a God. We serve a jealous God. He don't want you to be doing that. That's right. Okay? A good name is better than precious ointment. Having a good name is better than having expensive stuff. Read. And the day of death than the day of one's birth. Your day that you die is better than the day you were born. Give me uh, Jeremiah 20 and 14. You know. I'm going to bring them to you. It's precept after precept going against birthdays in this Bible. Why your pastor ain't teach you this? That's the question you should be asking yourself. That's right. Why is my church not teaching me the real? Why are they giving me John 3.16 every week? Read Jeremiah chapter 20 verse 14. Purse be the day wherein I was born. No, that's a blessing. The day I was born was blessed. Purse be the day wherein I was born. Let not the day wherein my mother bare me be blessed. God said that. That's what the prophet Jeremiah said that. Read. This is also the Job and Jeremiah saying it. Jeremiah is just saying it in a different way. Read. Cursed be the man who brought tidings to my father. Cursed be the man that brings that man presence. Read. Saying, a man child is born unto thee, uh -huh. making him very glad. Uh -huh. Keep going. And let that man be as the cities which the Lord overthrew. So let that man that celebrates birthdays and brings presents, let him be overthrown like God, like God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. What did God do to Sodom and Gomorrah? What did God do to it though? He put it to flames. Right. The same thing's gonna happen to you if you keep your birthday, if you keep celebrating that. Read. And let the man, let that man be as the cities which the Lord overthrew and repented not. Uh -huh. And let him hear the cry in the morning uh -huh. and the shouting at noontime. Uh -huh. Because he slew me not from the womb. The reason why he, Jeremiah said, I'd rather be dead than to celebrate my birthday. Okay, or exalt this day as any other, uh, above any other God's days. Read. Or that my mother might have been my grave. Uh -huh. And her womb to be always great with me. Why you say that? Read. Wherefore came I forth out of the womb to see labor and sorrow. This is why we don't celebrate birthdays. Because you were born to come out of the womb to serve this cap in this captivity. Right. Okay? We are in captivity. Ain't nothing to be celebrating. Right. We, right. We're in the midst of slavery. We right. still, just because the chains are not on your neck. Don't mean you ain't a slave here. Right. What's your last name? He was a slave of the Alexander plantation. What's your last name? Patterson. Patterson? You was a slave. You a product of the slave of the Patterson plantation. That's right. You still a slave. You still have those last names on your back. Okay? You, you still got to pay taxes. You still got to go work for another nation to put food on your table. You so, so you ain't supposed, no, not in, not when the kingdom of heaven, okay? In the kingdom of heaven, the true Israelites are going to be the ones ruling over this earth. Bring it up. Okay? Give me Revelation 13, 10. I'm going to prove that to you real quick. Bring it up. Let me prove that. I said, a, I said a bold statement, right? Let me prove it. Let me prove it. Let me, I said a bold statement. Let me prove it. Read. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Uh -huh. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Y'all got four ears, got two ears. I, I'm looking at four ears right now. Listen to this. Read. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. Who led us into captivity throughout history? Just look. Who, who did this to us? Huh? Say it loud. The white man. The white man. Not only him, the Arab man, the Chinese man, right. the Ethiopian, right. led us into captivity. Read. He that led us into captivity. So those nations that led our people into captivity, what did God say what's going to happen? Shall go into captivity. That's what the kingdom of heaven is going to be about. That's you ruling over your enemies, brother. Right. It ain't going to be no pearly white gates with white angels right. giving you hugs. Right. It's going to be you ruling this 
earth again. That's right. He that killed us with the sword. He that killed us with the sword. Did not the white man kill us with the sword? Did not the uh, Chinese kill us with the sword? How did the Great Wall of China get built? We built that thing. Yes. Did not Pharaoh kill us with the sword? How did the pyramids get built? We built that thing. You understand? Read. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. No, might be killed with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. So that's what the kingdom of heaven is about. You got to keep the commandments. The last verse, Revelation 20, this more. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. You should be patiently waiting for that day that you're going to get payback to your enemies. Right. Okay, that's what Christ is coming back. He's going to give you spiritual power to put people that did this to you to death and into slavery that's right you understand me all right so uh last verse of uh, revelation 22 14 you know read revelation chapter 22 verse 14 blessed are they that do his commandment no pastor said the laws are done away with but why in revelation is it saying do commandments that means pastor is lying to you read blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life. The tree of life is eternal life. That's the kingdom of heaven. So you got to do the commandments. Meaning you got to apply commandments in order to get heaven. That's in right. order to get rulership of your enemies. You got to apply commandments. Read. And may enter in through the gates into the city. All right. So understand. The only way you're going to get through those gates. If you keep in God's commandments. That's Period. Right. Point blank. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.